I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you all to the 20th anniversary of the Association of Bell Tell Retirees. It's hard to believe 20 years have passed since seven guys got together and decided that they didn't like the idea, they hadn't reached, received COLA in a long time. And from those seven people sprung 134,000. Two of the original seven founding fathers are here with us today to honor us in this 20th year of our anniversary. Uh, and they both have been members of the board since the inception. They started the thing. We give you our past financial vice president, Mr. Robert Rem, and our past president and executive director, Bill Jones. Bill, yeah, right. All right. I can honestly say we've come a long way from when the founding fathers found this organization 20 years ago. Today, two of them are sitting here again with me, Bill Jones and Bob Rem, and we thank them again for all they started and all they still contribute to the organization and our goals. We are one. Whether you are a former union or a former management employee or someone like myself who was both, we are now retirees and we have the same issue. Says, Dear Jack, as we regret that I will be unable to attend the Associate of Beltel Retiree's 20th anniversary meeting. As you are aware, we are currently involved in a labor dispute and on strike against our major employer, Verizon. Of significance in this dispute are retiree health care benefits and the unrealistic financial burden that the company seeks to impose on retirees for those benefits. IBEW Local 27 and its members and retirees will continue to fight for comprehensive and affordable health care for all Bell retirees. Additionally, I want to extend to you and your organization my sincere thanks for the help and support you have provided, having the support of the Association of Bell Tower retirees during this most difficult time sends a clear message to Verizon that we stand united in demanding the respect we deserve from a company we all helped to build. And boy, isn't that the truth. We all helped to build this company. We should share in its profits. We need your support. It helps us to make our goals, but more importantly, your goals. What are you complaining about? Well, we're complaining about what they did back in 2012. And the courts are going to say, you can't complain now. The statute of limitations has run. You have to complain within the first three years. So we've done that and we took it up to the Supreme Court. I don't know how many of you are aware how many cases are filed in front of the Supreme Court every year. Unbelievable. I can tell you last year there were 8,600. So you don't even have a 1% chance of being accepted because they only take about 75 to 80 cases a year. Our chances went from 1% to just over 45% statistically because of the time lag and the fact that we went through the conference. Not only am I the senator, I am a former um, New York telephone person. And I, state senator and Senate Democratic leader Andrea Stewart Cousins, recognize the significant contributions and accomplishments of the Association of Belltel Retirees, Inc., and join with the residents of the 35th District to proclaim this day, Tuesday, April 19, 2016, as Association of Belltel Retirees Day. Congratulations.